Hi, I'm Scott Stork from Coon Rapids High School. We're going to demo on creating vinyl stickers. First thing you need to do is once you bring your design in, you need to make sure the design is as crisp and black as possible. So once I brought this design in, I did, did image adjustment threshold, and that allowed me to increase my threshold level or decrease it, but I was able to get it nice and crisp. Now, one of the things you need to do is the crisper the image, the better your design, and the more detail your design, the better your grade's going to be. So once you have your design created, you're going to go up File, Save As, and then you're going to type in your name. The biggest concern is that under Format, you have to save it as Bitmap, BMP. And that's in the format area and then you're going to click save. We've already done that so I'm not going to hit save again but also you want to save it to the desktop. Now that we have that done the first thing you want to do is you're going to go into the program that we use and it's called Cut Studio. So we have Cut Studio open on the on the desktop and you want to import your image so we're going to import the CR because those are the words that we did. And once you see a little box in the bottom corner, that tells you that your design is in here. So I'm going to bring it down into the screen so you can see it a little more. The first thing you want to do with this design is you want to change the properties. Now the properties right now is at 26 inches, which is roughly a little over 2 feet wide and the height is just shy of three feet it's 34 inches so if I change the, the width at five inches and I click OK and then I go back in again under properties and I'm right clicking on the mouse notice that the height also change so what that tells you that every time you change one of the items the width or the height the other one will automatically change for you so now that we have that in, we're going to zoom in in our design. Again, I'm using the mouse. I'm using the wheel on the mouse. Next thing we want to do with this is we're going to right-click on this. And again, you got props that come up. We want to go to Image Outline. Within Image Outline, you're going to see a box that says Extract Contour Lines. That's what you want to click on and that is what you're going to be making your sticker out of. So you got a little boxes that show up. I'm going to drag this over. The one behind is what we want to delete. Again, I'm using the mouse. And this is what you're going to be making the sticker out of. So I'm going to... We already have one created. Oh, so let me zoom out. This one I'm going to delete. Things to keep in mind in the bottom left corner, you got a red horizontal arrow and a blue vertical arrow. That's your starting point on the cutter. Now, once you have that to the bottom left corner, we're ready to set up the machine. So we'll go look at the machine here. Cutter. We have a Roland Cut Studio. Now the first thing you need to do is on the digital words it says sheet unload. Normally that's going to say that. So the first thing you want to do is turn the power off and then turn the power back on. And as it's recalibrating the machine, one thing down below that says the pen force. What the pen force does is it, how deep your cuts are going to be in your stickers. Normally on a newer pen or more or less a blade, you might have the pen force at zero. This pen's been in here since last school year and then we're in the fall of the following school year. So we got that at plus one so we have deeper cuts. Now right away on the prompt it says roll. If we're using this roll right here then we would click on roll, but we're using a piece. We're using a piece, so we're going to adjust that, and we hit enter. Also, it says edge. Disregard what the edge says. But we have piece. Now we're going to hit enter. 
So when you have a piece, you want to hold the back end because it's going to pull it through and then bring it back. Also on the machine, you're going to see there's some sensors. You have to have the wheels over a sensor. So right now, if I slid this wheel right here, it won't work for you. It's going to say mark error report. Also, if I brought this wheel over to this sensor right over here and had two wheels on one sensor, it will not work for you. You got to have make sure your wheels are on two different sensors. And also on a piece, you need to make sure it's off centered. So if I if I brought this over here, this piece of piece is going to move all over the place for you. So you want to load that off centered a little bit so you have two wheels on your piece that you're working with. Because I unloaded it, I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on again. But again, make sure that your sensors here have a wheel under each one. And you can tell you got a long sensor over here, so I set this off centered to make accommodate for that piece that we have. And now we're ready to quick cut. So on the machine, we're going to go to cutting. So right now it's cutting the letters CR into the final sticker. So now it's done, we're going to unload it, and I'm, we got the CR in here, so now we're ready to cut that out. Hi, this is Scott Stork, and we're in the second part of our vinyl sticker. You want to start trimming off the excess sticker around, you're going to use an X-Acto knife, and you're going to cut on some boards that we have here at school. And so you're going to scribe on your vinyl sticker, you always want to start on the outside and work your way in. I just cut out this R here so you have an idea of what we're working at. He said you got pictures on this. You're going to keep trimming this around. Side out. <laughs> and now we have our sticker made. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this release paper on here. You only need as much release paper as the size of your design.
apply this on, you start on one side, and then you work your way across it. You're going to need a plastic beveled. If you don't have one of these plastic beveled, uh, you can use the edge of your phone book, um, phone case, paperback book, credit card. So you want to get all the air pockets out. You're going to trim the excess off. And then you bring it to your instructor, you'll get it graded. Now, the more detailed design, the better. You could put these stickers on a four wheeler, snowmobile, ice house, car window. So let's say we're putting this on, this is a car window here. You're gonna gradually peel off the one corner. And then again, you're gonna need something to smooth it out on whatever you're putting your sticker on. Got a lot of air pockets in here. And then you just grab the release paper. And then we have our finished assignment.